Hello, hello everyone. Pray you're having a great Monday, right? Fortunately, I have to wait for someone to come and take care of my vehicle. Ran into a little snafu this morning. So, pray you all are having a better morning, right? But I did want to share something with you that the um, the Lord gave me. Hey, Sister Kyla, hope you feel better. Hope you feel better. No more snuffies. Snuffleupagus. <laughs> so, um, preparing for the Epic Conference, April the... Um, April the 8th, April the 8th, and um, it's going to be a dynamic business conference. And so wanted to kind of share with you uh, something that God revealed to me that I will go into greater detail with on April the 8th at the Epic Conference here in Indianapolis. And uh, you really do not want to miss it. You get a grand grand experience uh, being a part of the Epic Conference. Last year was my first one and it went extremely well. Um, Sister Carla was a part of my team and I thank God for my team, Andrea, Andrea Boxley, Angela Smith, uh, April Fuller, Lachelle Carter this year, uh, Charity Lewis is uh, helping immensely. So just a great, great uh, team of sisters uh, helping to bring a vision to pass. So this year, April the 8th, and wanted to prepare you to register. You get a dynamic conference with dynamic speakers, and some of the things we're doing a little differently this year than last year. We're actually uh, having breakouts this year. Uh, breakout sessions with each of the speakers. You'll have two speakers in the morning, two facilitators in the morning uh, sessions, and then one in the afternoon. So you'll get to experience all of the facilitators if you choose their workshops. And then we have our keynote speaker, Kent Buckner from Atlanta, Georgia, talking to us about taking the shot, asking for the sale, closing the sale, and he's just going to give us a dynamic understanding uh, to take the shot, take the risk, go for it. It's your dream. It's your vision. And then uh, we have our VIP luncheon that you can register for as well and want you to be a part of that. I'm trying to decide if I'll have like a Q&A during or a speaker or someone to just kind of pull things together over the lunch. I really want to bring in a top realtor for those of you who are interested in real estate to kind of talk to you about how to branch into that type of business. And so I'm encouraging you register today for the Epic Conference. Coaches and consultants converge April the 8th here in Indianapolis. Great turnout last year. Want to take it to the next level this year. So that's why we're bringing in a keynote speaker. That's why we're having breakouts. And again, we're doing the VIP lunch for you to sit down with the facilitators and the keynote speakers and have a more intimate setting. So that is just for you. Now, the other thing that's happening, if you register, I think we said by March the 1st or the 15th, I'll have to look at my notes. If you register, you will receive a one-on-one -on -one consultation with the keynote speaker. You will send me your question that you have for him and again, he's a motivational speaker. He's a professional coach. He was a free throw shooter trainer for the NBA. So he would work with the players on how to take the shot, right? And how to get the ball through the hoop every time at the free throw line. So he's taking that into a book called Take the Shot. And he's going, the skill that he gave the NBA players is a concept that he uses in business and sales and helps people take their sales to the next level. Now, you don't have to be a salesperson, but we all need to have know how to ask for the deal and how to close the deal. The issue for most of us is not our price. 
See, we measure our price according to our product, but what you really need to measure your price of your service is according to your skill set. When we really start to understand I'm worth this. I'm worth $150 an hour. What I bring into your business, what I bring into your church to train your leaders, and these are, I'm speaking for me and what I do, I'm worth this because when I leave, if you apply when I leave, your leaders, your ministry will go to the next level. Your business will go to the next level. If you're relationship coaching or whatever it is you're doing as a coach, uh, whatever you're doing as a professional, you have to know the value of your service and the value of you, okay? So make sure you register for the Epic Conference. Seats are limited, so while seats last, we wanna help you bring your vision into focus, okay? We wanna partner with you to take your vision, your purpose to the next level. So one of the things, the thing I wanted to share with you today, a little something while I'm waiting on my car, somebody to come, I ain't gonna even tell y'all what happened, but anyway, we ain't gonna, but it, it's good, it's nothing major, but. God's faithful. But what I wanted to tell you, a little tidbit, initially, I was going to talk about training speakers at the Epic Conference. I'm leaning towards doing something more along the vision, vision, sorry, vision, focus, uh, helping you bring vision into focus. But one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was a concept of assignments. We, you have a purpose. And within your purpose, you have an assignment. You have an assignment. And so you have to understand assignments change. Purpose does not. Purpose does not. And neither vision, you can set a vision for your vi business, a vision for your life. That can change. Purpose does not change. Purpose doesn't change. And neither does destiny. I always give the example about traveling from Indianapolis to Chicago. Now, let me use Michigan. Traveling from Indianapolis to Michigan. There are several ways to get from Indianapolis to Michigan. You can take 465 to 65 around to 94, and you can get to Michigan, the part of Michigan where my mother lives. You can take 465 to 31, and get to where my mother lives in Michigan. You can take 465 to 69 to 94 or to 14. There's so many different ways you can get to Michigan. But guess what? Michigan don't move. The destination of where you're trying to get to does not move. Your purpose that you want to get to Michigan does not move. But how you get there will move. It can move when those are your assignments along the way. So what I want to talk to you about is how to be assured of your assignment. There was a book written, and I can't remember who wrote the book. Uh, actually, I just found out that there was a book written. And years ago, I preached a sermon called A Place Called There. And recently, I found out there was actually a book called A Place Called There. Well, we know in First Kings, Chapter 17, uh, with Elijah and the widow woman, the God, t God told Elijah to get to this place, a place called there. And it is there that you will get your provision. It is there that a raven will feed you. It is there. So there is a place called there that we all have to get to to fulfill purpose, to fulfill destiny, to get to our destiny. Well, along the way, there are assignments and assignments change. This is why it's important that you do not live your life based on solely on passion because passions change. Passions change. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sometimes you feel encouraged. Sometimes you don't. And so passions change. Sometimes you are all into that thing that you've been doing for five years, 10 years, 20 years. And then you ain't feeling that no more. Your passions move. But purpose does not change. Purpose will lead you. I'm sorry. Passion will lead you to purpose. But purpose is not always I believe it's an indicator. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's an indicator for purpose, but it's not the final destination. Does that make sense? If you got a question, send it to me. I'll answer it.
while we're on here. So I want to really encourage you to be a part of this year's Epic Conference. We are taking it to the next level. And every year I want to make it bigger and better. I, I do right now, I do two conferences. The Lord has placed on my heart business and ministry because that's who I am. And then God's kind of leading me uh, to do my men's conference from the Father Lost Forum uh, that I do. And to really... Uh, have my Christian Women's Conference, have my Father Forum Conference. It won't be lost because once you come to the conference, you're not going to be, you're not going to have issues with a father not being engaged in your life. And the conference will have a little aspect uh, for the men, um, for women as well. And hey, Brother Jesse. And so, hey, Prophet. Hey, Sister Amanda, Sister Yvette. And so, um, it will bring, uh, the Father Lost Forum has been an amazing, amazing experience with bringing women together in a setting to talk about their father issues, men in a setting to talk about their father issues. And those of you who have participated, you know how powerful that forum is. And God's really dealing with me about just being more of kind of a conduit of, of bringing people together to, um, address life concerns, whether it's business or ministry relationships. So I want to be strategic in this Jubilee year and moving, because you know I'll be 50, right, in four months. So uh, just really wanting to be strategic and purposeful in how I live my life and what I offer people and being a connector. And so just really seeking God even for the next 40, 50 years of my life, what, what I should be dedicating and focusing my life on. And I know my passion is relationships. My passion is people. My passion is helping people find purpose. And I'm clear that that is my purpose. My passion for people and people living a fulfilled life has led me to my purpose and it will take me to my destiny. Amen. To the end of the matter. So assignments. Assignments have a place. Assignments have a place, assignments have a season, and assignments have a passion. And so I encourage you, I encourage you to be a part of this year's Epic Conference, April the 8th. April the 8th. Come and receive coaching from Coach T, uh, business strategies from Shamar Cox, non-for-profit understanding and how to get money and build your non-for-profit from Terry Dove, branding and marketing from Brother Eric Anderson, and knowing your money. Let's get our money right, whether it's personal or whether it's business uh, from Sister An uh, Eric Erica Young. And so we have also incorporated the youth stream this year, the youth youth entrepreneurs with Kenneth Allen. Now, one of the things I need is to get youth registered. Their registration for the youth is only $10 for what you will get from Brother Kenneth Allen. Uh, it is my desire for us to bring those youth into a setting with adult professionals so they can see. Our young people need to see. You can be an entrepreneur. It's so interesting when I go into the schools and they're like, oh, I want to be an entrepreneur. In what? What do you want to do? They have no idea. They have no idea what they want to be. Uh, Sister Destiny just logged on and she just got her cosmetology degree. I'm so proud of her, but I don't want Destiny, my mentee, to be, and I'm not going to say just a hairstylist because I don't want to belittle that. Hello, right? But own the salon, right? Own the salon and put you some chairs in there and folk pay you, right? And don't own just one, okay? So, Understanding entrepreneurship is the way. I did that message for us a couple of weeks ago. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. Come on, y'all. And let them all make all the money they want to make because God's going to command them to turn it over. Well, if you don't know what to do with your money, Sister Erica's going to tell you what to do with your money. I said this a couple of weeks ago. When you get your taxes, take about $500. I don't know how much you're going to get. You're going to go buy a TV, some more shoes or some more purses or some more suits or get a car. I don't know what you're going to do. But take a part of that money. Go look and see what uh, Trump and Bannon and and uh, Microsoft brother and all of these men go see what DeVos, where do they have their money? 
Where have they invested their money? And you go take $500, $1,000 and go invest in what they have. Chase Bank. Okay? And go invest in where they have their money. Okay, so the wealth of the wicked can be turned over to you, entrepreneur, business owners, people with a dream, people with a vision. God wants to take the kingdom to the next level. And if you can't see anything else in the gold uh, ribbon around what's going on, I want you to tap into that. So register for my epic conference, please. I would love to help be a part of taking you to the next level in your life. Sit down today and ask God. What's my purpose? And within my purpose, what's my assignment? And where am I to be to tap into and connect with the people that will help me to fulfill that assignment, ultimately helping me to fulfill my purpose, ultimately helping me to reach my destination. Thank you so much for joining me for this Dr. Tuesday tidbit and helping you bring your vision into focus. You have a great day. I'll look for your registration April the 8th at the conference here in Indianapolis. Coaches and consultants converge for limitless living. God bless you.